All across the world, we are in danger of losing species to extinction, often driven by habitat loss. In some areas, it is not possible to protect the remaining animals in their native environment. One way that conservationists are working to save species is to move animals from areas that are no longer suitable to habitat that has been restored or set aside and is safe from development or hunters. While this is not ideal, it has made some species safer from the threat of extinction. Understanding animal behavior can be an important piece in making a reintroduction successful, particularly when animals need to be bred in captivity and then released back into the wild. To make sure these behaviors are retained in animals that will be released in the wild, researchers must understand which behaviors are critical and whether they are maintained in captivity. They can then focus on how to elicit appropriate behaviors in captive animals, either through training or by providing the appropriate environmental cues. Pacific pocket mice are an endangered species in Southern California with only three wild populations remaining. They are currently being bred in captivity at the San Diego Zoo and will be reintroduced to areas of their historic range. Pacific pocket mice are unusual in many ways, including their tiny size, solitary nature, and inactivity during the winter. They dig a burrow system to keep them warm and safe and store seeds inside of it. While they are torpid during the winter, they wake up every few days to eat some of their stored seeds, but may not come above ground for months. The seeds in their burrow are an essential part of surviving the winter. Many plants do not produce seeds during the winter, which is likely the reason Pacific pocket mice stay inactive. But in captivity, animals are provided with food on a daily basis. I am studying the caching, or food storing, behavior of pocket mice in captivity and comparing it to animals in the wild. I'm finding out if they store seeds at the same rate as wild animals, and if not, what cues or training can we use to alert the mice they should be storing seeds. Understanding caching behavior and whether animals in captivity maintain it will help us learn as much as we can about these unique animals and make their reintroduction to the wild as successful as possible.